welcome to another episode of the Today Talk podcast. This is the podcast where we talk about everything and anything. Today, we have a very special guest with us here. Hello, my name is Bill. Bill here. Uh, oh, yeah, Alex too. Uh, yep, sure, no, go, ahead. Go, go ahead. My go name ahead. is Alex. Uh, I brought this kid over here. I haven't uh, been on the Today Talk show, but I will be in other episodes yeah. soon. So. You're, you're going to see him pretty, pretty often. Hopefully, I'm a, I'm a cinematographer. Um, so, if he you want to see really good content, you should follow me, DP Productions. <laughs> um, Justin, cut that, cut <laughs> all of that out, all of that. You can, uh, you can put it spam, top, bottom spam. He's, he's <laughs> in my pocket. Spam. Okay, let's get to the point. All right, I do nothing. He plays football. Bill. That's what do you do? Tell us a little about yourself. What you do? All of that. Nothing. Nice. That's <laughs> no, great. I'm just kidding. So. Uh, Really, right now, what I'm doing is I'm hanging around, waiting to get uh, officially accepted by West Point. It's been a four-month long journey with this application because they're being really difficult about it. Uh, Monday should come my acceptance offer, and once I accept it, I got to go to the police station, get all my records, social securities, all that, fingerprints, make sure I haven't killed anybody. And then they'll officially let me go in to uh, West Point. But besides that, uh, I like fishing, playing basketball, doing dumb shit. Maybe the taxidermy business, would you like to? Yeah. Or if you need a skull, <laughs> any type of animal uh, done, just Anything. Let me know. Let me oh, know. that's the video that you sent me, right? Yeah. Like yes. You're the guy that has all the skulls in his room. Yes. That's crazy. When you bring girls over, right? And they're they're in your room. They're like, I do tell they, them I can make it more cat for them. Oh, they're cat. Got you. Yeah. Okay. Cat. I'm nice. just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> nice. Um, all right. Let's let's say a little about about what you did in Katy. Right. Uh, I don't know if anybody knows this, but Katy High School is one of the biggest, most competitive high schools in all of the United States. Um, and it's really you know. Competitive and it's one of the best in football, in probably Texas. They just won state this year, um, and Bill was on the team. He was started in varsity. Also, yes, sir. So, uh, Katie football. I hate you, uh, but it was fun. It was surreal. <laughs> it was a journey. Uh, no, there's not much else to say about it. It was very demanding from day one to the last day. The last day before the state game, demanding. Coach is always on our ass. We never had free time. We weren't allowed to go anywhere. We weren't allowed to go to parties. So the coaches would find out every time. Oh, yeah, they would find out. They would know. Every time. Do they have didn't social media? That a, uh, like fake accounts? Looking yeah, at I had a players. coach trying to add me on Snapchat and shit. Didn't you tell me that a coach like went to someone's party and like got them out? Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, they that were intense. strict about all that. We we I had no life for four years. I just went to school, played football. Dude, so I mean, kind of you're depressing. going to West Point. How much life do you think you're gonna have there? Nothing. He's gonna become a robot. Dude, is what's gonna honestly, happen? Honestly, but honestly, West Point is is the United States Military Academy, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of the most prestigious academies in the, probably the United States. Yeah, I mean, it's been there for how long? It's the is the longest. It's been since seventeen. How the fuck do you know this? <laughs> YouTube You're coming out your ass. Yes, sir. Oh, How yesterday. long has West Point been around? It was seventeen something. I know it was. Yes, I found it. It's two hundred nineteen years. What the fuck? Nineteen Holy years. Shit. Yeah, no, that's a lot. I mean, the the school. Katy High School was built in eighteen ninety eight. Eighteen ninety eight. Oh yeah, Katy High School is old as shit, dude. That's crazy. we have. Uh, it's funny. Every time I go to the library and I look at those pictures of the yearbook, or not the yearbook, uh, the, the class, class sizes, class, yeah. it goes from like four people to like four people. Nine hundred and they what? had like eight people. Yeah, in the like first class, they were all they classes. were definitely all brothers and sisters. Yeah, or someone. Just family. one family that went to school. <laughs> nice. School Remember, did you uh, during the graduation we had one uh, person who was what five generation or four generations? Five generations. Five generation. Katie, Katie High School, high school. graduate. Graduate, and they just stick around here, like just stay. I don't know how area. somebody could do that. Uh, I hate this place. K Katie's kind of boring. It's like a it's small boring, town, you know. It's not. It's not a small, small town. 
But it's, I mean, being connected to Houston, I feel like there's a lot more things to do, but it's just a fuck of a drive yeah. to go anywhere. Yeah. Especially at 3 o'clock. Yeah. Rush hour. I hate rush hour traffic. You want to talk about women and being late and thinking that, oh, let's, <laughs> let's, let's, let's just like... We went to prom. Were you we having to cut this out? I don't know. Out? No, we don't have to cut this out. Okay. This is just talking about women being late. Okay. okay. In general. Yes. Okay. All the time. Women, this, listen to okay, this. Prom okay. Prom was what? Saturday, correct? Yes. Saturday. Saturday. And they thought that we could leave at four and make it to Herman Park at what? Five? No. No. They wanted to leave at, they wanted to leave at five. <laughs> And this is what a cabbage is. They wanted to leave. <laughs> they wanted to leave at five, okay, and oh, make five. it to the reservation for lunch or for dinner at seven o'clock. And we went from Katy to Herman Park, and then back towards Katy. It wasn't the restaurant wasn't near Katy. What was it? What road was one on? Westheimer. Westheimer. Nice. One, so from one side of the city to the other side, and then yeah. back in the middle of Houston. In, in the middle of Houston, hour. during rush hour, they thought we could drive, take pictures, and make it to dinner. Anyone? So, we told them to leave at 4 o'clock so we wouldn't have to rush because we know how women are in their dresses, trying to stay pretty, not wanting to rush, right? We told them, let's leave at 4. My girlfriend ends up coming to my house at 5.05. Her dress rips. So, she starts panicking. We're all right panicking. That's your ref's your house? Yeah. Something fucks up with the, the thread or something. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So we ended up leaving in my house at like 5.20, right? Yeah. I was driving. We drove. Even with my driving. All we the way make it. to Alex, Herman. Alex drives like a fucking crazy man. Yeah, I know. It hurts my head. Yeah. He had his wisdom teeth removed. Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah. That's, that's why it's a little swollen. Fuck off. <laughs> but look, we drove. You know where Herman Park is? Yeah. We drove all the way to Herman Park during traffic. To take pictures. To take pictures. With a fucking phone. With right a after phone. I took pictures for you? With no, 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 a no, that iPhone. Was, that, that was before. That was wait, that was graduation. We we're talking about prom. Oh, okay. We gotcha. drove an hour to take pictures with an iPhone in front it of the bushes. It wasn't even a good location. Dude, why didn't you bring your camera? I don't want to take pictures. Dude. I asked I'm him that. I'm not trying to work. I'm not trying to work. I'm sorry. Dude. Dude, I'm not trying to work. I asked him that. Okay, first of all, the girls, they could have asked me. I knew a photographer that would have came for free. But nobody asked me or told me. And I even mentioned it, too. I remember. I was like, hey, guys, if y'all want a photographer, not you. If you, nice. <laughs> if you want a photographer, let me know. And they were like, okay. And I thought they were going to bring a photographer. And it was a fucking phone. So, yeah, they had their moms take pictures with their phones in front of bushes. We drove all the way. We could have just stayed in Katy. We could have stayed in Katy, walked down my street, and took the same pictures. So we, we wasted so much gas. I was stressing the whole time. I was stressing. I was hangry. Hang mm. we were all so hangry. you want to hear some shit? Go ahead. We're at the pictures where we're taking. We're, we're at the place where we're taking pictures, right? And I'm telling them we gotta go. We need to go, or we're gonna miss our reservation for the dinner. Mm -hmm. For the dinner. They're yeah. like, they're like, oh my god! Wait, 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 wait! We need to take some more pictures. When did prom start? Just so I have a timeline. Prom started around like we went. We yeah, got, we got there at nine. Okay, but that's besides what the eight. fuck happened before. Look, I'm telling them, let's go. They don't want to listen. I'm like, okay. So I just start walking away. They all start to follow. We get to the cars, and we drove down the street a little bit to a stoplight. I look to my right, and it's the other car that we were with, with the rest of the people. And I asked the uh, passenger, my friend, CJ, if the address that's in the group chat is the correct address for the place we're eating at. He says, yes. Or he goes, he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, CJ, is that the correct address? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it is. Just check for it. Sure. Let, me, let me check again. That's he when checks you know. It. That's when he you checks know. it. He says, yes, it's the correct address. I put the address into the Google Maps, and it's Papa Doe's on Westheimer, right? Okay. We drove 30 minutes to Papa Doe's. It is now 7.20. Okay. 20 minutes late to our reservation. 
already. The other car calls us and tells us to run in and tell them we're here so they don't cancel our table, right? And we walk in and we're like, uh, we're using the other girl's name because she's the one that made the reservation. We're like, hey, uh, do you guys have a table for Ashley? She checks the, the list. Ashley, I don't see an Ashley. Okay, uh, what about a phone number? We gave her the phone number. She's like, um, you guys might be at the wrong Papa Do's. There's another Papa Do's 15 minutes down the street on West Timer. We call the other group. Where are y'all at Papa Do's? Guess what Papa Do's they were at? They're at the other Papa Do's. Okay? And you know what they tell us? They canceled the reservation. So we drive. They tell us, okay, just come to this Papa Do's and we'll figure it out. Them? Us. We drive. <laughs> they drive to the other one. After saying we should drive to them. <laughs> Oh my god. Shit, bro. That's fucking They ate at Kane's. And we ate at Hibachi Grill. Prom. Because you know why? Because his woman was not gonna eat at a fast food restaurant. And I was so mad that day, I had no problem eating McDonald's. That's how stressed and hungry I was. Yeah. And then we got to a prom and I was life of the party. His shirt was off, everything. You sweat. So how did you manage to sweat that Thank much? Thank God I didn't wear my suit at the prom. What, what did you wear? Like, I just, I literally went in my white shirt and I unbuttoned it like three buttons down. That was it? You looked yeah. like a Greek. But like, did you? <laughs> and I wore my black slacks. Okay, okay. And all the teachers were like, that's all you're wearing? I was like, just wait. I come out and you can see my nipples through the shirt. That's how sweaty it was. My whole back, I was like drenched. Yeah, I would say we were all pretty in there. That was it was fun for like an hour. And hey, you were, you were pretty dressed. Yeah, right. I mean, I took off my jacket when I got in. Yeah, he's, thank he's God I was wearing fun. black because then you would have. I was sweating too a lot. I mean, not as much as him because you were fucking jumping around Every, like crazy. Everybody was like, make giving me the disgusted face when they brushed past me at at the desk. <laughs> he was so sweaty you could walk by him and it would be like a slip and slide. No, bro. That's crazy. What did your girlfriend say? She wasn't having it. She just hated all the sweat. And I told her ass the whole night, you shouldn't have been late. Nice. Hey, that's a fact, though. It doesn't have to do anything with the sweat. I think I think still. even though it was like, like that, I think it was good because now we get to remember that. How fucking annoying it was. And now I'm never letting plan that shit because it's not going to end up for the viewers do not let your woman plan anything and if she gives you a set time push it back 30 minutes or before Mm -hmm. so they will be on time because like my coach said 30 minutes he says early is on time on time is late late is unacceptable nice Hey, that's a good. Of, that's a good. That's a good transition right there. Speaking of coaches, um, how was KD football? The experience of being with KD football. Yeah. The coaches do not care about your well being. They don't care about your morals, your religion, your friends, your family. They just care about getting to practice on time. And executing what they want. It's almost like a like a soldier, right? Like yeah. It's just like discipline, 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 and I feel like the never-ending work, discipline, and just amount of sweat and tears that we put in to getting our final product is what really pushed us from the crowd, like what we stood out from the crowd. Dude, uh, you, were, type you shit. were telling me earlier uh, all the, the the work that you put in, Katie. Right? And you were saying that it was easy to like go against every team, win state, that it was easy for you, for, for the varsity. But tell us a little bit about the routine that the football team has. Okay. So, how it was for a while was 
wake up at 5 a.m., eat, get to the school by 5.30, have your morning workout. Then you go to the locker room, shower. First, second, third, fourth period, you have school. Yeah. Chemistry, pre-cal. Oh, my God. I hated those classes. But anyways. <laughs> Fifth period, football practice. Then we got sixth period and seventh period. And then right as soon as seventh period ended, if you were lucky, you had a lucky teacher that would let you leave five minutes early and you wouldn't have to run. Dude, that's 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 true. That's true. Oh, yeah. I remember I talked to my chemistry teacher and she was like nice about it. So she just let me go. In. Yeah, I never had that teacher. So I would always have to run. Uh, if you're late, you're old. Like on the spot. They'd like cut it off. They'd be like, after you, everybody else, go to the line. You're rolling before practice. So we'd get there, and then we'd have a two and a half hour long practice. And I wouldn't get home till 6.30. And then I would do my daily grooming. <laughs> grooming. <laughs> so so just, just so we know, you have practice in the morning, right? Yep. Then practice during a period. Yep. And then practice after school. But three yep. practices after school. Yep. Three. three different. I mean, it's one well, big look, ass practice. Yeah, during the season, during practice the season it was, oh, we're talking about off season. No, yeah, you're right. So it was practice in the morning, practice during school. And then after school, we'd go do track, track running. <laughs> track running, workouts, after, after workouts. Can you pull it down real quick? Like, you see the top? That's what it has to say. Right there. Just like that. Sorry. You're good, you're good. You're holding it like... <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing. Don't worry about oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. Don't worry about it. Can I hold like this? Yeah, you can hold it like like that, you know? Like this? Yeah. Hello? <laughs> um, no, but that's crazy. Like, that amount of work you put in, getting home at six... 30? 7? Yeah, 6, 30, 7 sometimes. Uh, and having like, to do homework. Still having to do homework. If you're still in AP classes, that, that that's crazy. That's an amount of dedication and hard work that... that, that it, it, Like, I'm proud and, and, I'm, and I'm glad for you to, to, to get to West Point and, and get a full ride, dude. Because honestly, that work, it's, it's, it's literally not common. And, and honestly, I'm... I'm I'm really, I'm really glad you got the the full ride. Yeah, I feel like uh, a state championship game. It doesn't have to be football. It's well. I feel like out of all the sports that they give at Katy High School, football has got to be one of the most demanding. Definitely, wrestling is hard too. Did you ever try out for wrestling? Yeah, I did wrestling. He didn't. He was on varsity, but you. So you were a wrestler and a football player. Well, after the football season. Yeah, 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 obviously, because yeah, it's different but seasons, but, yeah, like, you were both. Yeah. Dang. And I was, like, 12 and 2, but then I got injured, and I told the coach, fuck you, I'm not doing going districts. I could have made it to state. For but I could have placed in state, but... You didn't want to? No, I didn't want to do it at all. I, I was not going to risk jeopardize my future. Obviously. That's a whole other thing. I don't want to get into that, but... Uh, Oh, like I was saying, it doesn't matter what sport it is, getting to state and like the whole trip driving up to Dallas for us, uh, practicing at some random school's field indoor facility, eating steak at this at their school's cafeteria, going to the hotel, having uh watching a film session. We had uh Ray Lewis did a video for us. We had Andy Dalton come in there. Uh, we also had a motivational speech. Uh, and then we all went to our rooms. <laughs> uh, you in your rooms, bud. Uh, okay, okay, uh, nice. Uh, after your rooms, uh, what <laughs> happened? So we all had to give our coaches the phone. We went to sleep. I'm skipping a lot of things at this point, but let's continue. 
We went to sleep and we woke up the next morning. We all felt amazing. Loaded no. the buses. <laughs> went to the stadium. <laughs> we probably got there three hours before the game, three and a half hours before the game. The stadium was big as shit. It was a, a Dallas Cowboys stadium. Would you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the Cowboys stadium. Yeah. yeah. I was about to say, like, oh, it was like Legacy? No. Okay. No. Okay. Not Vegas. Vegas. The whole, okay. That's why they had the whole trip. They had to, like, go over there, get the hotels, and, and the like, school. Dude, that's crazy. How how did you feel whenever you you're walking up there? What 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 was your motivation? What was your what was carrying you through through that process? When I'm walking, when before the game, or an hour the, before think, the game. What's your, what do you just feel like walking into that stadium? Walking into the city. Because walking like, into the walking stadium, walking out into the field where all the people are watching. Oh, clapping, like right before the game. Out. Yes. Well, before the game, when there was nobody there, and we just walked around the stadium, took pictures and shit, yeah. it was eerie, because it, it was such quiet. a big space, and like you can hear, I know this doesn't make sense, but you can hear the quiet. Yeah, like it's yeah, just I, I got you. Yeah, yeah. you it's know what like, I mean? Well, because you're also expecting, like, when you but see a stadium like that... you not get music you think, or, like, anything no. like at all? You could rock. I didn't have any music. I didn't bring my AirPods. I think I had lost them at that point. But uh, so you're you're in a big ass stadium. Everything is quiet. like it's hu humongous. The jumbotron is probably the, is it was probably forty yards long, like the big TV that they have in the middle. Huge. But anyways, we uh, went back to the locker room. We all sat down as a position group. We all got. Emotional, like we were just talking about, like we, we did this shit. We're gonna go finish it up, clean them up, uh, and then we all got and ready, dressed out. I was off eight painkillers. Why were you in that many pain? Because I was just in pain. I was so fucked up from the whole season. I had taken eight painkillers right before the game. That's that's the next topic we need to talk about. How is getting injured? So I was amped up. And you know how they had the little little walkway when everybody walks into the stadium, the, the players? Uh, that shit was crazy. I bet. We all we started doing the chant, and we were all, like, banging on the walls and shit. It was insane in there. And I we ran out. I can, I, can, I can see that, like, in my mind. You know? So much adrenaline. And we ran everybody out. chanting, bro. We ran out. Uh, I actually don't know the exact amount of people that were there. Before the game started, but I'm sure. Look, we as players have been in that position a lot. Yeah. Like the amount of fans and shit. Especially KD High School. I mean, I don't think Legacy yeah, Stadium being filled I guess, up I guess, most yeah, of the yeah, time. Yeah. I don't think I sat there one time during the game and looked at the crowd and like did a whole 360 and looked at how many people were there. I didn't care at all. Okay. I was focused. Everybody on the team, except for some clout tracers, we were all focused on the game. We knew what we had to do. We had to execute. Because that's all we knew. We were disciplined. Is it okay if I pull up a video? Yeah. So. You can send in the video and then you can put it up. On yeah, yeah. Oh, I can? Yeah. It's on Twitter, though. I mean. You can, you can screen record, record it. it. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. Look at this. Point is, moment. is that I feel like in general, like being a, at KD football and like, I mean, you and me record the games yeah, every now and then and just seeing the crowd, that's a lot. I mean, I played at Legacy Stadium too, Dude, it's, but it's for, a, you don't have a crowd when you play yeah, soccer. Yeah. And I feel like having a crowd there, it's even more intense. And I just... The, the pressure, I'm, I'm guessing, I can't tell you for a fact, um, but I'm guessing it's, it's a lot. I'm, I'm guessing it's... But they're also like used to that too it's like day one no no, no 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 you have to you have to you can't train for that the pressure yeah you have to be in that situation and you got to understand how it's going to go because no matter how good you are at the game the crowd and the just the noise the, the noise and the lights. place you're in and under the lights seeing yourself on camera you will shit yourself under those lights doesn't matter. It could be a legacy. If you've never played in a game like that, mm -hmm. and you are a really good football player, 
and you're coming from, let's say you're coming from a different school and your school is like a 3A and you don't have many people in this town, but you're good at football and you come to a 6A Division two school and you're playing at the Baylor Stadium. And I, get, I know it was during the day, but that's what my coach always says. He says, don't let the lights get to you because you will literally shit yourself just from the pressure. It doesn't matter how good the other players are. You will not be mentally focused and you'll forget everything and you'll just sit there like a like a uh, deer in a deer headlights. Dude, that's crazy. I mean, here's a video of the opponents before the game. This is when we went out there and started uh, stretching and all that. Okay. So I can I can just show you all right now. Yeah. Look, look how cocky they were. <laughs> this is some Katie Paul okay, players right there. Okay, okay. That's the KD football, yeah. right? Yeah, no, this is them. This is the other team. This is the other team? They yeah, were, we're over both stretching, right? and they're over here crowding up on the 50 yard line. I'm getting all hyped up. Dude, this stadium is huge. Okay. They got what they wanted. They got the that's what they, so that's while what they you were get. doing that, y'all were focused and stretching. Yeah, we weren't even paying attention. I didn't even know that happened. I didn't even know they did that. Dude, that's crazy. Like, there's some moments in your life where you're, like, dead focused. You know what I mean? Like, where you, when you get that vision that, like, for example, in Rock, Rocky, you, you've ever seen the movie? Yeah. That's when you have, like, the mentality of, I have nothing to lose. This is my life, bro. This is what I'm supposed to do. This is, mm -hmm. this is what I'm going to do right now. This is it. That's the mentality, bro. That is why I said it was a surreal feeling because... Everything I've done in my life and all my other teammates is led up to that point. Like, the whole thought process, even though... <laughs> this is mine right here. That's yours. I put mine in my bottle. Even though the night before, we didn't do what our coaches told us to do because we're dumb, okay? We still executed... On a level that we never even played on before. All my teammates, including me, knew that we have practiced since freshman year leading up till this point. It's our senior year, our last game ever. We miraculously, absolutely devoured everybody from the playoffs. We beat the first team 60 to 7. We beat the seven team, the second team. It was uh, I don't remember. I think it was like in the fifties or sixties again. The third team we beat them 40, 40 ish to twenty ish. Fourth team shit on them. Fifth team shit on them. And then come state game, we knew what we needed to do. We knew how to execute it. We went out there. And we just played kick ass, nose to the grindstone football, like we did all year. I mean, y'all did get beaten by uh, Tompkins. Yeah, though. I was going to say that. No, no, you want to know why? Tom okay, respect. okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, just for everybody, but uh, I think that a was a good context. thing because I remember you told me that. Like, oh, I'll tell you exactly eyes. what happened. L let's give a little context to the audience. Okay. Um, Katie High School, uh, being as competitive as it is and as good as it is. Has never lost a game to Katie, any school in Katie. Any, yeah, any in, school like in Katie. district school. In uh, 12 years. In, 12 yeah, in over 12 years. years. I never lost a game to, to the district uh, game. Um, this year has been the, the, the only year that Tom Kings, another school uh, from Katie, has been able to win against Katie. Yes. What was that like? What was the training after? What did the coaches tell you? Okay. So first off, wait. What was the point? Hold on. Before, what was the points at the end of that game? Do you remember? We lost by like three or four points. Okay, so not yeah, much. It was it was it was a tight game. I remember, but but they still lose. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it all started at the beginning of the season when Bronson got kicked off the team because that had ties to some Tompkins football players, and we hated Tompkins the year before. And this isn't a football rival rivalry hate. This is online, social media, kids doing stupid shit hate, right? Okay. And we were beating everybody before them, and 
nobody was expecting Tompkins to win. Nobody thought that Tompkins could have stayed in the game as long as they did with us and eventually win, right? So what happened was we let the moment get too big. We let all the clout get too big for us. We had so many people like that live in the Katy area posting about the game and talking about the game like beforehand, talking about how they're going to be there and how it's going to be a crazy game. It's a rivalry. We let the moment get too big. And that happens a lot in sports. And that's why I told you, when you get under, under those lights, it doesn't matter about social media. It doesn't matter about what you said with your friends in class, bro. That does not matter at all. You just got to lay that all on the side and you've got to show your opponents what you're really about. But we didn't do that. We let the moment get too big and we got caught up in all the shit talking. Not we, not me. Yeah. Okay. The team. Yes, in general. In general. Some players that cost the game. Dude, but football, if you have one bad player, one player that is not in sync, one player that is not on point, the whole team gets brought down. Exactly. One mistake you make in the defense, that's it. That's the play. Exactly. It's and a team sport. Game. What did uh, Coach Brigazzi say? I want to know. He always... He didn't say anything. None of the coaches said anything. They didn't care. Because, like you said, it was an awakening. That we weren't all that, and that we needed to. Uh, I think it died. Your phone or no, this is still on. your phone died. No, it didn't. Your phone probably did die. Did it die? Uh, no. It's uh, technical difficulties. Better. We're still recording. I was just still recording. Uh, cause it's just a little better. It's all right. Uh, nah, Look at your weight distribution. <laughs> hey, I've lost weight, surprisingly. Okay, so like I was saying, yeah, yeah, 195 went from 230 something. Look, man. Hey, that's, that's fine. The coaches said basically indirectly, I told you so. Because they told us, don't pay attention to social media. And all the people that fucked up in the game were the people that were too involved on their phones. And that happens with any sport. Uh, I can make an example real quick of uh, this year's softball team for Katie. Yeah. They made it to the third round of playoffs or fourth round. I, can't, I think it was fourth round, right? And they get there, and they're doing pretty good, and they start choking. And you want to know who starts choking? Oh. All the freshmen that have never been under the lights. And they let the moment get too big. And they were all three of them were freshmen. And all three of the people who messed up were all the freshmen. And that's how it is. It's just the lights. The lights get to you. And I can't explain it to you. You just have to be in that situation. And you got to feel it for yourself. The, 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 the pressure, I guess, is too much sometimes. It's, too, it's not. You can't explain I mean, it. Players also talk shit on the field, too. And I feel well, like yeah, no shit. But adding, that's different. It's well, different. Yeah, but that added, I feel like I added on, especially those freshmen. The lights, the players on the field talking shit, and then all the social media, and then no, no, I was talking about softball. Oh, it's not yeah, softball. but but still, like the pressure that you must have is still pretty big. It's still, it can still break you. You know what I mean? There were people on the field at the Cowboy Stadium shitting their pants because they've never been in front of a crowd or a stadium that big, and they, I mean, but they weren't starters, so yeah. that's fine. Like that game, they were not going to take out any starters. Obviously, oh, unless one literally dies, then yeah. then yeah, that's the only exception, especially for our position. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> if if one dies, are you sure? Are you sure you can still play? We just decided to keep our mouths shut and stay disciplined, like Coach Joseph told us to do. Uh, the other guys were talking shit like beforehand, like I showed y'all in that video, and um, come first play of the game, we run out there. Uh, and the D line, they ran. Do you know? Do you remember any of the formations that y'all used to run? Yeah, they ran a. Uh, we should put this up like on the side. <laughs> yes, Justin, you figure it out. <laughs> Justin, you they ran a split. I don't okay. Know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, or actually, it might have been a Mustang. I don't know if you know what that is. When, I, I when you have run a split, a but you have a middle linebacker. 
right in yeah, between. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. It was either that or they had the split with the one technique and the three technique. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure the one technique was right in front of me right here and the three tech was over there next to Omar. Okay. And we line up and as soon as we get there... Oh, also, by the way, we've never talked about this. What position do you play? You're center. At the what? Center. I'm the one who snaps the ball. This dude is the center. Yeah. Dude. Okay, go ahead. Now, a lot of things make sense. So... Line up, and he's like, he's like, what's up, bitches? We're going to show y'all how we really get down. And I'm like, that's literally the face I made. I look over at Omar. I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? And he can hear me say that. He's like, all right, man, we're going to see. We're going to see what y'all talking about. We we're like, okay. And the first play we ran was 49 pitch. So you basically literally just turn that way, take three steps, and then run up field and cut. Yeah. Or just absolutely destroy somebody. And I can I can send you the video and you can play the first play of the game. The first play of the game, Omar picked up the middle linebacker and buried him. Pancaked. And I took yeah, pancaked him. And I took this little this little fat black kid that was talking <laughs> shit in the video. You can see him in the video. I'll point yeah. him out to you. I took his ass fourteen yards down from where we started shit. and buried his ass. And he didn't say anything after that. Dude, First okay, play. You, 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 I don't know if you understand this, Alex, but 14 yards. I understand about 14 yards. Okay. Why am I being treated like <laughs> It's just, I, I don't know if you've ever felt what it feels like to get carried 14 yards. Yeah. They have to carry you 14 yards. And you're trying not to fall down. <laughs> one time, one time, okay, uh, I got carried a long ass, <laughs> like that much. Dude, it feels like awful. I'm pretty sure like he, his whole, uh, dude, what, what was, you feel destroyed morally, emotionally. Yeah. You feel. I wouldn't want to play anymore. I just get back. Yeah, I would be like, I'm done. Coach, um, I'm done. <laughs> coach, pull me out. <laughs> Sub. Look, it's literally <laughs> the first play. Yeah, you need to send him all this stuff. Yeah, so send put in. Like just screen record it and then. Hopefully, it plays. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Where the fuck are you? Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, let me see, let me see. Oh, because you were the white ones. I'm fucking... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The white ones. <laughs> so, you see a little fat black kid right there? That's me in the white. Shit. Shit. Uh, just, just, <laughs> just uh, make sure it's... Dude, that is crazy. That's the first play? First play of the game. I did that six more times after that. I had six pancakes. Or seven deep cleaters that game. That, uh, uh, that's pretty impressive. That's, that's pretty... What did the kid say after, after that? Nothing. Nothing. After the game, anything? After the game, nothing. He was quiet. I remember the, the week leading up to the state game, we do like a bunch of... Uh, analyzing and we watch their plays and how they are and who their best players are and what their numbers are and how much they weigh and all this. It's a lot that goes into it. And their best player was number 90 for the D-line, I think. We call him the cowbell. Or the oh. bell cow, bell cow, bell okay. cow. He wasn't starting. And we're like, what the hell? How is your best player not starting? I don't know. No, we say our best player from our uh, perspective. Like who we think, okay. or who Coach Brixey thinks, because Coach Brixey is the offensive coordinator, but he's also okay. the O line coach, and he he determines who he thinks is the best player. Or it was Coach Brian. I can't remember who did it. So you literally plan your whole place for that player, right? No, no. no. Well, like you plan somewhat, like right. Somewhat. You take him into account. When yeah, you you're, take him into account. Yeah, whenever you're doing yeah. the game. So he doesn't start, right? And at some point. Maybe first quarter or second quarter, he comes into the game. He's probably about this tall to me, big black dude, right? So what would you say, five, six five? Um, he was probably like six four. Okay, okay. six four. Two eighty. Two eighty. Yeah, big ass kid. And me and Omar, we were, we were running a draw that play miraculously. I already said that word, but 
we never we don't run those plays like that. But the first play he comes in, we're running a draw. So what essentially what you do is we're straight like this. I snap the ball and the whole O line turns one direction. And if yeah, somebody comes in, yeah. you take him back. If somebody yeah, yeah. doesn't, you turn up field. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So and so what happened was me and Omar, we both turned this way, right? We turn like this. And the dude plays on Omar's shoulder instead of coming into the gap. So what you do whenever he plays on the shoulder, the dude in the the dude behind, behind you, you, me, is supposed him. to take him. Yeah. But Omar is a, a dummy, so he just turns and picks him up as I'm picking him up. We took that kid from the hash all the way to our sideline and decleated him in front of all our players. Got up and he started cussing at us, and then we showed him. We're like, "That's what the fuck we thought. Or, That's what the fuck I thought." He runs back. Second play. To your sideline. All the way to the sideline. Yeah. From the middle of the field. Yeah. Second play. He's the one tech again. And we run a uh, 47 win. I, I was blocking him. I kid you not. In that big ass stadium. I got so caught up in the moment. I blocked him four and a half seconds after the whistle. And I don't know why I didn't get a penalty. Did the, did the, did the, referee... the ref didn't say anything. And he got so pissed off, the coach took him out. And he didn't touch the field again. He was in for two plays. Wow. This is... Let me let me put into perspective how bad we kicked their ass. Okay? What was the final score? 53 to 14. Or 56 to 14. State game. Imagine losing that bad in a state game. Dude, that's, a, that's an ass. Look, since that's you've played football, let me put it into perspective for you. Yeah. So, you know how whenever you're playing D-line and the O-line blocks you the same way? Yeah. Repeatedly? Yeah. And it gets really irritating? Really annoying, yeah. We ran, the, in the third quarter, I think, the same exact formation, same play, I think seven times in a row. Dude, that's the most, like, when Demoralizing, you and they could not stop it. We were getting five yards every play. The same formation, same play. Like, how do you not know how to stop it? You just literally fill the hole up the running backs running into Dude, but it's crazy because um, sometimes you just don't know how to react in the moment. Because football is a lot about the moment. Like, people yeah. make mistakes in that moment. You know what yeah, I mean? Cause Whenever cause the play starts, people can make mistakes. And it's the, it's the job of everybody to make sure mistakes are not happening or mistakes yeah. are taken care of. But once I think you're that... Shut down. I think it, at the end it doesn't. Like you're already you're already lost in your mind. It's it's methodical. Yeah. Like you got to think about like every play. Football just looks like to a regular person. Football just looks like guys running at each other and hitting each other. Yeah. yeah. There's so much technicality that it's so Dude, difficult to remember. I, I told my dad that uh, one day after football practice, I was so happy because um, I had an idea. You know when you do those like one v ones. Yeah, yeah. Like you know. Yeah. Um, I was doing one against this kid from the O line. Mm. Really hate the kid, by the way. Mm. Uh, I got him injured, bro. Mm-hmm. With that that time, I got him injured, and he couldn't play for like the next five games or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was crazy. I felt bad too, though, because like I hated him. But, but at the same time, you fucked him up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like he's a he's a player, you know. He's yeah, a, his yeah. teammate, you know. Uh, but I was having so much fun, bro, that day when when I I, I literally pancaked him two times. Um, <laughs> It was, it was fun. And then uh, what happened is I went home and told my dad, I was planning what I wanted to do to him before, right? I had this whole plan. Mm. And it, it actually went the way that I wanted it. I, I planned it. I, I thought of all this. Mm. And he went that way, right? It's a whole technical. It's like a chess game. You, you, you need to yeah. think what they're going to do to you and how you're going to respond. It, it's really crazy. I think football is one of the most... Mentally demanding games, physically and mentally demanding games. You You're coming from play. both sides because it's like you have to be super athletic. You have to be able to run. Like, you have to be strong. Dude, you fast, have to be and able at the same to, time think to stay in the game for. I mean, I know as there's players plays. out there that are robots. Dude, <laughs> dude. Sometimes I don't know right. if you ever went that way, but uh, for for the O line or for the D line, they stay on for fifteen. Play straight or make me so. Oh my more. god, when the, Alex, when you will never going, feel that pain when the O line is going like five yards, five yards, five yards. You hate that shit with your life. You start 
the three yard line and you literally run the ball all the way to the other side of the field and you're 16 plays deep in one damn run, it is the worst feeling you'll ever feel, especially when you're an old lineman and you're fat and you are just pounding <laughs> Dude, every play. It's just when I don't know about you, but for me, being D line, bro, or line at all, like O or D line, yeah. it's always every single play you're getting hit, no matter what. The every trenches, play. nobody understands how the trenches work. Exactly, it's like every game. You'll get See, I'm, up a, and I'm a soccer player. I, I'm not in football. I've never been in football. Uh, I suck. I can't catch. Um, so I, I don't you understand. Can't, uh, you can't protect football you can't, at all. You can defend. I'll record it. I'll uh, take <laughs> pictures. Um, but no, I will not play. Okay, so. Bill. Also, I have but, a question because um, I remember I got injured a couple times in football. Mm -hmm. You know, had to like do rehabilitation and shit. And they don't really care when you're a sophomore and you're playing oh, yeah, the sophomore team. Really but understand. starting on varsity, how is it getting injured in KD, bro? Uh, what what do you do if you can't play? You know what I mean. And you're starter. What what what's that kind of like? Okay, um, starting my senior year of football, I probably sustained. I'm not even guessing this. I probably had about eight injuries leading up to state game. I played the state game one week into COVID. Oh, he had COVID. I forgot about that. You did. Our whole line was positive for COVID. I had a fever. My throat hurt so bad. I had a broken finger. He still does. Dude, what? Come here. Come here. I don't know if, if people can see that. I'll take a picture later. Dude, it's literally out of place. This finger was messed up. Yeah, I can still... Uh, and this thumb also is messed up, but dude, that's another thing. Your fingers always get injured. Oh yeah, I don't know every why. game, every game, you're gonna have a finger injury. Do you ever get it's your like finger, nothing? Do you ever get your finger trapped in the another player's uh, helmet, dude? That hurts us. That's what happened to this pink. That's what happened to this pinky. I uh, got it caught and it almost broke. I pulled it out right before that yeah. shit hurt. But like I was saying, we all had COVID. I think the whole team. Like at that point, we probably had about. 20 people with COVID. No in the one team. said shit. Yeah, and nobody said shit. We were not going to say anything. Of course, why would you? Wait, you had COVID when you were playing? Yeah, yeah. on the field. A week, like, the whole team was infested. <laughs> so <laughs> the yeah. other team, if they were not, they were definitely yeah, they got probably COVID. definitely yeah. got COVID okay. after that. Uh, we're don't, we don't. We <laughs> we don't. And don't. Wear masks. Just kidding, don't wear masks. Fuck masks. Fuck I don't yeah, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Uh, I've been through COVID. It's Texas. not that bad. Fuck Get the over California it. shit. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, yeah. yeah, I was sick for a day, <laughs> dude. But but really, that's fucking crazy. Everybody having fever, bro. That that's. Man, I don't even remember half my injuries that I had senior year. I know, I know, I fucked up my knee. My knee was hurting, dude. How how did you fuck up your knee? And we we're playing. Okay, so I do remember my knee. My knee. Do you know uh, VJ Bronson? He played for Taylor. Okay. He played D-line. He was, uh, you know VJ. Yeah. Big ass, 6'4", 300 pounds. He played nose. <clears throat> right? <laughs> He's a big mother. And at some point, towards the end of the game, probably third quarter, fourth quarter, uh, I had messed up my steps that I was supposed to take on that play. And instead of going like back, I went out too, out too far, and I misstepped. And he came right, bull rushing right to me, and... Uh, I folded on my ankle, so I was trying to save my ankle. So I went, I fell on my knee, and he came yeah. down on my knee, like with all the weight, and my knee just hit the ground like this. And the trainer said that I, uh, I almost uh, strained my PCL because it was nearly the same. Uh, the way it impacted is like kind of getting a, in a car crash, because like you know, that's yeah, it's at three hundred pound. At, at a yeah. massive speed. Whenever you hit your knees on the dashboard in a car crash, a lot of people hurt their PCL. Yeah. That's what happened to me. And my coach didn't care about that. But <laughs> he Dude, didn't care at crazy. all. That's crazy. Okay. Because now imagine you had a big ass injury and you wouldn't be able to get to West Point. That's your that's your future. You know I know did. I, mean? I, I injured myself during wrestling. I don't know what I did. I hurt a spine vertebrae. Fuck. And I was fuck. wrestling with it for two weeks. 
Like my vertebrae, like nothing else around it was messed up. None of my muscles were messed up. Nothing. It was like the bone, this one bone. And I got MRI. They said nothing was wrong with the MRI. I got uh, x-rays. Nothing was wrong with the x-rays. What the fuck? So you just... That's why I didn't go to districts. That's why I didn't wrestle for playoffs because I was just like... That's so dangerous. You know what I mean? Like you're literally tangling with your future. Like if he he becomes... Um, uh, 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 paralytic. I don't know. Uh, what's it called? Paraplegic. Yes, that's what I'm getting at. I know how to say a lot in of Spanish. big words on this podcast. <laughs> yes. put, put, put. I know how to say in Spanish. I just don't know how to say in English. Um, yeah, like w- where you can't move anything from neck down. Yeah. If he becomes paraplegic, right? Or paralyzed. 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 Fuck. We're all retarded here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought he was like if the he, noun. Yeah. If he becomes himself. paralyzed, whatever. Um. Dude, he's fucked. He can't. He can't go to the army. He can't play football anywhere. That's that's it. That's literally, yeah. you know. And I, I I had uh, I had also strained my rhomboid. It's a muscle that's under the shoulder blade. Okay. Uh, I dealt with that for probably four weeks, and I played every game with it. I was injured every game. I didn't go one game without being injury free, but like. They were all minor. Like, this finger, all I would do is just buddy tape it. I went... You know when I injured this finger? Yeah. October. I'm still injured. You still haven't, like, getting... No, it doesn't hurt anymore, but it's going to be like this forever. But it stopped hurting. It was hurting during a state game. I was injured since October. Dude, can you pop it back into place or something? No. Like, that's, that's your finger now. Go like this. Yeah. On this one? Do this one. I can literally feel this. <laughs> That's Fuck. Crazy. Yeah. Dude. That's what football does to you. So if you want to get into football, just you know what my coach told me? What Coach Rixie said? He said, if you're injured, all you got to do is play on it and the injury will go away. Play. And you know what he told me every week? He says, what's up, Pansy? Uh, you need a tampon? Stop bitching. That's what else would he say? That's fucked. Honestly, he didn't. They don't care, bro. They don't care I mean, about it your also injuries. Does kind of build character. Yeah, no shit. Like it but not. like, it's irritating as fuck, dude, dude. But like, like going to a state to a state game that fucked up. It's not good. I mean, I'm I'm not lying when I told you I'm off eight painkillers, bro. I took four Advils, two Tylenol. I don't know. Yeah, two Tylenol and then uh, two ibuprofen. Just so you can walk to school and everything, right? So like, no, like just for, just for the state game. For the no, state like, oh, an state. hour before the game, at the stadium. Shit. And you know what? I have, do you take painkillers while you're at pl- at practices or like in games, or was just yeah? Like a special if location? the pain if the pain was too bad during practice, I would take like two Advil or two ibuprofen okay, but during practice. I'd probably pop like twenty pills every week. Shit. Yeah, fucking absolutely frying my liver. But, <laughs> uh, well, uh, that's uh, your liver's gone. No, it's not. It will be. I Probably. feel it, like, especially look, the army. Dude, you can worry about that in 10 years. We'll worry <laughs> Don't worry about, about it. Yeah. Look, <laughs> West Point will pay for it. <laughs> to be honest, yeah. Third quarter of the state game, my finger was in infuri- no, excruciating pain. Nice. Excruciating. Like, I was going to cry in pain how bad it was. And I was off eight painkillers. How is that even possible? Uh, I mean, I told the doc, I was like, doc, my finger hurts so bad, I need more painkillers. He's like, I don't think I can give you more because you'll probably die. That's what he told me on, on, on the field. I was like, well, shit. So I just walked away. How do you pl- keep playing that? That's, that's crazy. And though. then still win. It's still win. That you have to be so unfocused and so on point, dude. That amount of pain, still your mind needs, to, and you being a center, you literally set the whole game. You know what I mean? That's crazy. I think the worst injury I've had is whenever my ankle swelled up to like a grapefruit. Oh yeah, I saw that. I remember that. I uh, my I slid into the goal, trying to score, and then the goalie landed on my foot and mm. it just completely flattened out onto the field. Mm. I remember I heard something pop too. I was like, "Oh, I think my worst injury is when I broke this foot." I don't don't think I, I've never don't broken worry. anything. Me Dude, neither. I've never had surgery. Big ass boy. Like whenever you were in a car crash, 
When it, like if, if a car, car tries to run over you, <laughs> the car I breaks. Car. Oh yeah, he got hit by a car. No, no, he got hit by a car when he was a kid. <laughs> Dude, the car fucking breaks. You remember that? He walks out I just, I just remember you telling me I wasn't there, but I remember you told me like the whole street came out. Dude, Dude Asian hate me. You need, you need <laughs> a fucking train to even fucking pull you back. Yeah. I don't know, man. I've lost a lot of weight due to this surgery, though. And then on top of that, uh, my wisdom tooth surgery, oh, I couldn't eat. I lost 10 pounds. So now I'm, I think, shy of 250. I need to walk in at 260. Yeah. No oh, way. shit. Yeah. For West Point? Yeah. I mean, it's not really required because as soon as we get there, we're going to do basic training. Yeah. And you're just going to win. Lose a fuck ton of weight. Yeah. I mean, they are going to put you on meal plans. Yeah, but that's going to be after anything. basic training. Okay. So you, know, you, have, have, to, you have to lose weight? Or no, you don't weight? lose weight. Look, they had it back in the day, back in the day, probably not too long ago. Where the football players would go in, because everybody who goes to West Point has to do the basic training, yeah. right? And they had the football players going in for six weeks of basic training. They had all linemen lose 50 pounds. Shit. 50 pounds just to be in West Point? No, 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 no. He lost 50 pounds from the training. From the six oh, weeks basic and, training. And he's an old lineman. Like, that's not good, they have to right? go through uh, military. You lose 50 pounds, dude, right? Uh, I mean, he's just this big-ass dude. Yeah, skinny it up like so. They cut down football, football basic training to three weeks, to minimize losing that much weight and shit. Or why didn't they just give you more like, food, you know, like like because I don't think better they, diets. I don't think it's the same during basic training. I'm pretty sure that all starts after when they yeah. start feeding you like relentlessly. Eat. I mean, Eat. I'm waiting for that, bro. <laughs> I'm always fucking hungry. I know. Bro, I've seen the, I've seen, I, I, okay, yesterday when you told me like, hey, you want to do it tomorrow? I was like, fuck. And I just started watching videos about West Point. The mess hall. Dude, the mess hall. Oh, so you actually did, you the educated research, yeah, yourself. Obviously. Yes, obviously. You know how they feed 4,000 people at the yeah. same time? Dude, I remember, dude, yeah, I, I saw that it. video it's too. It's beautiful. The fucking, it's the food? Fucking, no, not the food. Oh, just the, just the, the, the West place, Point the in general? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a good, it does, look, I mean, it's a whole fucking castle. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It's beautiful. It's a castle. Dude. Yeah, I'll put a picture of people. <laughs> it's amazing, honestly, and it's it's the fucking longest I think academy that has been I mean, stated because it was never taken by the British and stuff. Oh yeah, because yeah. I did my research, bro. I did my research. Good. Um, was, I haven't done any research, dude. You're yeah, going, going there school, for yeah. how, how long? Seven years? Nine years? Oh well, yeah, because the uh, first four. Well, and four, then. and then uh, I have three years in the reserves and two years on duty. Okay, so you're gonna actually be on duty and. Yeah, like, I can actually go to Afghanistan and kill people. Dude, yeah. if he goes to Afghanistan, yeah. I would be scared. And I'm going to be making films. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go there and film him and kill him people. Bill, can, I, can you redo that? that was, can you shoot him again? That hey, was the hey, wrong hey, angle. Yo, can you stand up? Oh, no, he's dead, bro. Oh. You know, I say that. I told Alex this earlier. Uh, coach Brixey, my online coach, yeah. he told me one day during offseason, he said, hey, have you ever tried out... Have you ever thought about going to the military or the Navy? Because you've got a really good build for, like, the things they require there. And No shit. And you're a badass, and you're pretty good at football. They, they like old linemen like you, small and fast. And I was like, no, I haven't really thought about it. He was like, yeah, you also don't really... He said, he said you also don't look like you care if you'd kill somebody. <laughs> That's what he told me. Yo, I'm going to say some funny stories that Coach Briggsy has said. No, I, I, Coach Briggsy is a character. I had him in class. I didn't have... I was in too. football, but in class, he just... It's a funny fucker. But he also doesn't give a fuck at all. Tell him what he would do in class. In class, I mean, oh man, it was a What class class does he teach? He teaches um, health. Uh, health class. Health class. Dude, that's. I, I, no, <laughs> wait, no. Coaches no, no, no. that do health Listen, class. They don't do this. We were watching a video about this anorexic girl not eating. And <laughs> as the movie's playing, he's sitting there in his chair. You know what the coffee? Yeah. His fucking big ass coffee. And he goes, fucking eat. <laughs> 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 and all the liberals just go like they're like what the fuck? they don't know what to say, dude. You can't say anything. And it's funny because he doesn't. He says I'm not. I'm not a Republican. I'm a, what's he say? He's a uh, uh, libertarian. He's a libertarian. What the fuck's a libertarian? Libertarian. You're uh, you have Republican views, but you like don't consider don't care. Else. What was it? You don't no, care. It's like uh, like you don't care about the party. Or you don't care shit? about like what like if if you want to be gay like or not want if you're if you're, if you're gay, gay like, yeah. no, that's okay. Like, he's lying to your face. I know he's lying, but that's what he says. That's yeah. what he says. 
that's what he says he is. Okay. Like, if you're gay, like, Dude, that I doesn't think, matter. I don't just don't put can, your views on me. Got you. That's got what you. it is. I don't He's think a dictator. He can, I don't think he can say that, though. Like, like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah, if you're gay, I'm going to kill you. And, like, no, he like, can't. That's legally. why he says he's a libertarian. He said he has made <laughs> so many political jokes in football. It's insane how many. I remember. I don't think I can say that. Never mind. Oh, <laughs> shit. No, like, there is a lot of bad things. He said, right, "He said, cut this, Justin. Cut this." Go he ahead. said, uh, "I'm just gonna say like some funny stories." Well, don't cut it. I wanna have you need to have one unedited version and then one edited version. I, I, yeah, yeah. This motherfucker said he was playing chicken with his brother or his friend back in first grade or third grade. Okay, playing chicken, chicken with a knife. So you like Shit. put your foot yeah, out on yeah, the ground yeah. and you throw the knife at your foot, and whoever moves first loses. He said his friend threw the <laughs> knife right through his foot and he didn't flinch. And he was making an example of how he's a badass to all of us. What was it? Didn't you tell me a story about like something he in, said, a truck, in a truck? He, something him in a dude, truck. So, so just, and just so I know. It or something like that. I don't know. I forgot. You told me something about His that. friend something threw a, a knife yeah. straight through his foot. Yeah. And he didn't flinch. No. That's so BS. And he said he, he walked into his house and showed his mom. That's so BS. And you know that. Like, no, I don't so think BS. it is. But he's crazy. Mm, he is kind of crazy. He's Dude, a little... How old was he? I can that? never... I can never... Every time I went to class, I would, n- I would not know if he would be like pissed off. I don't, I, you I can't never t- I don't know. know what his emotion is. You never know with him. Dude, like I, I tried figuring out. I can't. But was he the head coach? Or no, he was know. the assistant. assistant. Or no, no, no. He was the uh, offense coordinator. Okay. Because the head coach doesn't teach classes. It's Coach Joseph, no, right? Coach Joseph. Joseph. Oh, that ass motherfucker. He's so funny. Dude. He makes a lot of money, and all he does is go, man, come here. <laughs> dude, no, he's I mean, actually a smart guy. Fucking head he coach of fucking Katie High School. He's had to be you. He's making bands. He's yeah. making like 145K a year coaching. A little bit more. 150. Maybe, maybe, yeah. 150. A lot of money. Yeah. A year? How much? Is, yeah, a year. And you know, he gets hella bonuses off, especially off the state game that had just happened. You know, how yeah. much money do you think we made off the state game? Advertising, broadcasting. Probably a million. Maybe a little bit more. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I know they made a lot of money. It was around like three million. Oh, because oh, they shit. also have like their advertising Adver- and stuff. And like, like sponsors and, and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, sponsor. Just three milli, it. three milli, and people are saying the rings are fake. Fuck off. The rings are oh, yeah, the state fake. rings. I still want to test it, the though. State, the state rings, what are they? Uh, gold? They have diamonds on them. No, well, they're covered in diamonds. Completely. Nice. So they Should've they just spend it. fucking 100,000 100, just on yeah. rings? Way more than that, bro. There's no way. The ring, they probably spent 500,000 on rings. 500,000. Let me see if I can picture So, like, every, every player and the coaches get a ring, right? And the so trainers, do the trainers get a ring? Band, leaders, but they didn't get the same exact ring. Dude, that. so wait, if I'm a fucking um, trainer, do I get a fucking ring? Yeah, trainers got a ring. The the guys that get you the water, right? That's all right, picture of it. I can. I think I have a close up. I have a video. I think. You know his. Don't, doesn't your uh, ring only fit one finger? Yeah. It only fits one of his fingers, and it doesn't fit any of mine, including my thumb. And my thumb, I could spin it. <laughs> but do they not measure it? Or, like... No, they're giving the measure. He's just... A no, they did. Mine's a size 13. Yeah, I'm Sausage probably, links. Dude, you're not a size 13. Because yeah. I think I'm, I'm a size... No, because 12 was too big. Probably 11 or something. Dude, look at that difference. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Finger is fucking huge. I really hope this thing. Dude, look, not my finger is so <laughs> so fucked up. You see that? Yo, Dude, football, bro. Everything happened in football. I don't know how it happened, and it doesn't even hurt. It was only a year. Imagine I saved the whole have time. A video of this thing. There's no way. I posted it. We already an hour deep. Dude, th- I think this is the fun, the funniest podcast I've had so far, honestly, and the most interesting. 
by far. Yeah, because you keep doing it with the same damn guests. Coach Brixie said that he got pushed into a... It was either... You know those machines that shoot out the uh, the discs that you shoot with shotguns? Mm-hmm. What the fuck? <laughs> either one of those went off like this, or he got pushed into a plow machine that you plow the earth with for like uh, crops. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He said he got pushed into it, or the machine went off and hit him in the head and gouged a hole in his head. I think that was a story you told me about. That that would explain a lot. And he was like, he was like, yeah, <laughs> shit hurt, but I was fine. Y'all need to stop being pansies. Stop complaining to every play about your injuries. I don't care. He, really Tell doesn't. You. he, doesn't he care. said he went to a bar and fought 10 Mexicans. <laughs> Back in the day. I know damn well he said that too, <laughs> randomly too. Y'all are just chilling there and he just says it. He says the most random shit ever. You don't understand. <laughs> He said he explained to us why a donkey is called a donkey and why a maverick is called a maverick in the middle of sack for no reason. He just stopped training and he was like, y'all know why a maverick is called a maverick. I know he has a little bit of whiskey in that. He has so much knowledge. He is very smart. Really? He has so much unneeded. We call him the walking, uh, uh, Oh. The walking Bible, the walking. No, 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 not the Bible. <laughs> what is that? There's a meme that whenever you wake up at like three in the morning and there's a documentary, it's a random documentary. It's always playing fucking National Geographic. Yes, yes. Is a walking. No, 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 it's something like Walking National Geographic with the other documentary. We'd always call them that. Walking. What's another documentary? Not National Geographic. Discovery. Discovery. <laughs> Discovery? I don't know. Planet Earth. <laughs> walking. <laughs> yeah, well, no, you're a walking history channel. There we go. History. That history. Okay, okay. Like, I wouldn't. Why do y'all always call me that? <laughs> Dude. Dude, I have a spot on line that I will never forget. Ready? This is spot on exactly how he sounds. Bail. <laughs> do what, Bill? That's spot on. Oh, I forgot the fucking dude. What, Bill? Spot on. That dude, it's crazy. crazy. He got so pissed off at Norman. I told you this. Oh my gosh, Norman. What? Hold on, Norman. Okay, what? What's his football number? Seventy-five. Seventy-five. Number seventy-five. Tall ass, yeti looking motherfucker. Is he D line? (laughs) Or what is he? Huh? What is he? uh, Position? He plays uh, strong tackle. Probably one of the most dumbest people I've met. Okay, like not being mean or anything. Like I love the man, you know. Uh, He's great so friend, dumb, but retarded. Nice pinnacle of stupid. <laughs> the pinnacle. Nice. He. I don't know what it is. I think he's got like a problem with mem- like his memory. Like he. Or he just did not care to memorize any of the plays or any of the steps. Like, So how did he start? Or? Look, look, he somehow, it was his fir- first year He's playing He's just giant. O-line. He's 6'6". Six, six. It was his first year playing online, right? Don't let it fool you. He's like a chihuahua. But <laughs> let me continue. He's scared. I grabbed the, hold on, I'm sorry. I grabbed the fucking uh, worm. It was like this thick-ass green one, probably the size of this damn button. Okay. <laughs> I, oh, you have the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went up to him. I was like, Norman, look, it's a bug. We went camping. He goes, ah! starts getting so scared. So he's of six, it. six, six, six. How big? We put it on his back. It's not. Shit. He goes, ah! is that the guy? Yeah, yeah. that's Norman. Doesn't real doesn't realize it's he's on such an dude, he's idiot. Just, he's huge. Yeah. So you're big. He's humongous. But look, uh I don't know what it was, but he really has a problem with remembering. Okay. And yeah. he would mess up and practice every day. Every day, the whole season. Every single day. I did not go by one day without Coach Brixie complaining about Norman. Jacob Norman. Every day. 
And one shout day, out to Jacob if he's watching. Shout out to Jacob. <laughs> you're grounded. You're gone for life. You sold your truck because you're stupid. We're not gonna talk about he that. You sold his truck. Their parents sold his truck. Oh, but anyways, we can't okay, talk about that's it. His fault. Yeah, he's dumb. He's dumb. See, well, we were kind across. of involved. In no, that. we weren't at all. Wait, oh, because he. Okay, okay that's never mind. Let's, all right, let's go back. Let's go back. That's yeah. A separate story. Um, Coach Brixie just had enough. He told us his thought out plan of how he was going to kill himself. <laughs> he was during so film. <laughs> he was like, he was like, holy shit. I've had enough. Norman like that. Norman. How do you not remember anything? Do you not care? Norman, I'm being serious. <laughs> he goes, he goes, uh, he's like, I'm sick and tired of you not giving a fuck about anything. I'm tired of it. You know, I thought about it yesterday. If you ever piss me off like this again, I was going to go home, get in my shower, grab my shotgun, set up a vinyl cover on the bathroom wall, close a curtain, and shoot my brains out <laughs> so the cleanup would be easy after. He said that to all of us in the room. Ooh, what did he normally say? Norman, he was just like. <laughs> <laughs> Every day you heard Norman. Every day. Norman. <laughs> Every day. Dude. Oh my god. What was the what was the word of the the word of the trip when we were camping with him? Camping with him. Norman. Norman. We had to babysit basically. Dude, that's crazy. He babysitted. That's crazy. It was Honestly. okay. It was still a fun camping trip. It was very fun. Oh, uh, dude. Oh, I was laughing so hard. I was doing a story. <laughs> um, how can a coach a coach tell you that? That's I don't know. I dude. feel Bro, Honestly, I'm telling you right Katie now. Only. That's I'm Katie. telling you right now, that's only like the tip of the iceberg. Like there's so many other stories and so much random shit he said. That it just overloaded my brain and I just forgot it all. That's how much that it every day there was a random story that we did not need to know. <laughs> he talked to us about this random lady that had a twin in her stomach and something happened to the kid just randomly. Why? In practice, in the middle of practice. Just stop he always playing. talked about politics, always talked about LGBTQ. He always this talked about Katie, right? Like Katie, Katie High, High School. School. Yeah, every day. Uh, right. Shout out to Katie High School. Do you school. think there's going to be anybody watching this that will be incriminating him? Hopefully not. Listen, I'm talking to all of you right now. If any of you try to do anything to my boy, Coach Brixie, don't. Don't you hate him, though? Look, I hated him, but I love that man. You know what he told me? What? He's been coaching for 30-something years. He said, I'm the best offensive lineman he's ever coached. So Overall, look, like offensive lineman, yeah, Overall, everything. It's whole lifetime. Look, he must do dumb shit. He says dumb shit, but he's a really great guy. Just I think those I, are the best people, though. Yeah, you know, you know, he's real. He's real. 100%. He's he will never lie to you. He'll literally tell you that he absolutely fucking hates your guts to your face every day, and he won't Dude, care. But that's one bit. that's that's real though. Like that's, that's what that's builds your character. Yeah, that's what builds character. That's he does not him. lie. I've never seen him lie ever. Not one time has he lied to me. I, I don't know if that's good or not. Look, for me, that's good. I, think, I want I the cold kids, hard truth. Yeah, some kids need some that. kids need to hear the truth. Bro. Yeah. Dude, but okay, imagine again, your parents never lied to you. Like they're always okay. told you the truth. Like okay, uh, okay, daddy, daddy, how was I alive? Okay, but that doesn't. You're like three. Okay, well, not everyone well, I, needs to lie. Your mom until she screamed, like you know. But look, that's different, though. Yeah, that's different. We're talking about, yeah. we're talking about, like, teens, right? That I have a grasp of life and they understand shit. Yeah, I guess, I guess that does does work. When, like, whenever they tell you you're doing these wrong, you should better, like, you know. Yeah, it's you know. like the same as giving somebody a. Uh, it like correlates to giving if you're not telling the the truth to anybody and you're hiding stuff. It's like giving somebody a partip participation trophy. Dude, that's the most fucked up thing. Like when I hate that. It's like I hope Brian never like 
does that shit. Why do you need a participation participation trophy? That just shows that you weren't good enough, but you tried. No. You need to work to be good enough because being all right is not going to get you anywhere, especially the way society is going right now. Let's be honest. That's definitely true. You can't just be mediocre and be great. Mediocre and great are two different words, two different categories. Period. There's and no way going around. These participation that. trophies and like kids are expecting things to be handed. Kids. To them. <laughs> like, There's kids. no way around what I just said. And if you don't agree with that, I'm sorry. Also, <laughs> if you don't agree, or no, 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 what was I going to say? That's the camera right there. Hold on, I'm thinking. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, um, yes. Fuck, I just had it and I lost it again. Brain fart. Alex has a lot of those. Yeah. Um. Shall we talk about political things? Sure, if you want to. Yeah. Uh, Let's talk about West Point. I, I feel like we haven't touched okay. that West Point a lot. Okay. How was signing with West Point and all of that? I mean. What so do? basically, the recruiter hits you up, lies to you about a bunch of things, tells you how life is going to be great when you assign yourself to West Point, and he doesn't tell you you're going to become government property, and you, okay. you sign your life away, okay. uh, uh, they tell you life's going to be good, and then it, I've gone through a four-month process of trying to do my application, and that took forever, and I finally got the word that I'm going to be accepted this weekend. So I'm waiting till tomorrow, and if they send me the acceptance letter, I'm going to do all my docu- documents and get accepted officially. But <coughs> So you signed with them, technically, but yeah. it's not like... The, the, I guess the football side of it was is done. But like so if you want to get into West Point, you have to have really good academics, and you also need a, a recommendation from a... I saw that. You need from, from the vice president, the senator... Uh, or a like councilman. Councilman. Oh. I was like, dude, from the vice president. The fuck. Yeah, you need a. Uh, I forgot what the actual word was. It's like a something a letter just to get in, or just like or the full to ride. get in. Yeah, yeah, to fuck? get in, to get in. No, but look, if you get if you get a letter from a uh, no, not councilman, congressman. Congressman. Yes. If you get a letter from a congressman and you meet all the standards, they pay for your school. That's true. You don't you don't pay for your school at West Point because you're gonna have to you have to serve after right. Yeah. But so. but he has uh, an acceptance rate of seven point seven. Yeah. That's oh, th- I that's think that's the, the the military is the one that has the lowest out of. Yeah, they have so many damn kids over there. Yeah. Seven point seven. Yeah, they have well, okay. four thousand though. They UT have, has a lot of kids. That's true. Yeah, the, the acceptance rate is is based on how many kids apply. You understand that, right? Like that's how acceptance rate. Like a lot it doesn't of kids. matter how many kids. It's like a lot many. of kids can apply. Only oh, certain few are gonna yeah. get accepted. Okay, that's what acceptance rate is. Right. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> what was the name of the guy? Um, the dumb guy. Norman. 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 <laughs> okay. It's okay. Norman. I'll unplug this. <laughs> no, please. We're we're, we're doing we're, good. We're at an hour, hour and eighteen, 18 minutes. minutes. By oh, the way. Ivan. It's six oh five. Sorry, guys. Intermi- intermission real quick. I Cut. Are you um, do you think you will stay in New York after you're done with... Negative, Sergeant. Going you, back to Texas. You, are you coming back? I'm coming back to Texas. Why? Because uh, I'm going to figure out a life, and I'm going to do some shit, and miraculously, it's third time I use that word, I'm going to buy a bunch of land, and I'm going to live on the land. I'm just gonna sit back, smoke a cig. Do you think after you're done with West Point, you're gonna retire, like completely? Uh, look, what I could do is, if I want to live that lifestyle, I could serve until I'm 45, and then I can retire, and I'm set for life. Do you think? Do you think you have to like get a job after that? No. When, when, if you serve until you're like 45, you don't. Would Texas? You can. You literally retire and you're set for do life. Do you think? Do you think Texas would have? Will still have that type of land available? No. From in 45. Yeah, that's a good question. That is. A I good don't question. think so. In, in I, twenty in twenty years. <sighs> no. You got to think. The urban I don't expansion, even think like, society will like be able to live that long. Or the United States. Twenty can, years. Can the United States hold on, dude? Twenty more years. I think it's doable. It's doable, but imagine like all this shit that's coming out now, like technology wise. Imagine in twenty years, like when we were kids, we thought we'd have flying cars by now. Let's be honest. 
Yeah. Everybody was saying that. Damn near do. Dude, we already have self-driving cars. I mean, Tesla's yeah. already... Tesla's... Uh, imagine Tesla in 20 uh, years. Ford's Dude, brand new electric 20, truck that can okay, power a fucking honestly. house. No. Do you know that truck can power a house? What truck? That new electric F-150 or whatever. It I've, can I've power a whole fucking yes. house. Yes. Are yes. you serious? Yes. yes. And it has a frunk. <laughs> you can start it can power a you house. Can, you, can, yeah, can, you can tailgate from the front trunk, dude. Uh, like what I'm saying is, in okay, 20 yeah, years, all cars in the street are gonna be elect- electric cars. Oh yeah, no doubt. In 20 years, it's a big ass battery. Well, we're gonna drives. have human. We're gonna have robots walking around. I promise you, we will have robots oh. controlling society. How do you feel about that? Like AI type thing. AI. Are you everywhere, dude? Siri, we already do have AI Siri just everywhere. Kills us. I'm sorry to burst okay, your bubble. Honestly, we already honestly, have AI everywhere. Dude, Alexa. Do, do you guys have an Alexa? Yeah. yeah. Best person oh, no, I've I have ever Google. Done. Fuck that. Uh, Google's Alexa, better because Google. of YouTube. I have a Google. Google's uh, better. Alexa's yeah. best purchase? What if dude, randomly you're sleeping and she just starts talking? Dude, there's an option that is called less chat, and you can literally talk to her. It doesn't make that much sense now, but there's, like, actual, like... Uh, I'm pretty sure they're testing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like you can test it and you rate it too. And no, I heard of a story. Yeah, yeah, like literally, I would bring it, but it's a whole. I heard of a story. uh, I don't know if this is true, um, but some U.S. government. It was either U.S. government or some private company. They created an AI system that was so smart it started to grow out of its own system and like, like spread like places. And then they had to like like the. The actual like com- main like physical computers they were in, they had to destroy it all before it got out of hand. How the fuck? Be- it was, you know like uh, Jarvis and yeah, uh, Iron was Man. It was, it, it was Ultra. It was like it was Ultron, that type Ultron. of shit. Okay. It was that type of shit. Really? Imagine. Yeah. Imagine. It was started to be because it was what what happened was it started to learn on its own. It got to the point where it was learning on its own and gathering all the information from the fucking internet and just growing. Dude. And then they saw that shit How and it was getting, happen? and they couldn't the control problem, it. L- let me, let me tell you the problem with the AI is like, if you want to program something, it can only go till the human limit, right? A human brain has a limit. And if you want to program a computer, if you want to program a, a video, anything, it can only reach uh, a certain human limit. Right. AI learns by itself. It, it, it's basically a trial well, uh, trial and error. error. Yeah. And it does it like every like millisecond. That's why like yeah, so, it basically so, it thinks by itself. Well, yeah, I don't know if you've ever seen videos of like AIs just like uh, living and there's like two two good ones and then two that are attacking or some shit. And they have to find ways to protect themselves. And after thousands and thousands of generations, they figure out a way. And then they figure out a way to counterattack that. And then they just keep learning like that. So what Alex is saying is like it just keeps happening so fast. And now it's getting to a point where AI is learning faster than we can uh, comprehend. Uh, comprehend, like. Have you ever seen the movie um, Her with uh, Joaquin Phoenix? No, the I Joker? definitely no. don't think you okay, dude, saw that. <laughs> have you have you seen it, Alex? I uh, know, but amazing film. Basically, it's Scarlett Johansson. Nice. Uh, she's Are you a little the hard AI? right now, dude. Basically, she's dating like thousands of people at the same time, just because she's so like beyond everything. And then her and all the AIs like team up and like they're just so above every human type thing. They just like go somewhere and that's fucking it's 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 amazing. It's a mind fucking movie. Um, bro, that's what's gonna happen, bro. If that's already happening now, I'm telling yeah. you in twenty years, what the fuck if they can you get information in milliseconds. I think that's gonna happen in more like fifty years. I think in twenty years we're gonna start having like robotic parts of us, you know what I mean? Like, have robotic arms, you know? If you go to the military, you lose your arm. Just have a robot arm. Like, I think that's the future. I mean, that's kind of cool. I don't know. It's cool. I think... I, I don't think, know, to I think be there's going to be a part where you're, like, kind of cyborgs. And then, like, AI will take over. We really don't know what's going to happen. But at the end of the day, we can't control it. It's just going to happen. We have to Dude, learn honestly, to adapt. We did to ourselves. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. But at the end of the day, we got to learn to adapt. We got to learn how to uh, survive in that environment. How scared shitless would you be if Alexa just started talking to you about ending the world? But Alexa can't kill me, though, right? But, but imagine she just like no. You but said, imagine now Alexa got smart, right? And yeah, you have a you have a smart. you have a smart house, and it starts to fucking Dude, close doors seen, and all that. Have shit? you ever seen like Love Dead and Robots or um like uh, fuck what's it called uh, uh, Black Mirror? I've seen some Black Mirror episodes on uh, Dude, 
it's it's like futuristic shit and uh, I think you'd like Black Mirror. Fucking, watch Love Dead and Robots. It's like I only watch episodes. Walking Dead. <laughs> he's walking a ve- you can like he's a very geek. No, no, no. no. I would say. Just like a country ass motherfucker, like not <laughs> technology based at all. I've had to help him with a few things, even really? just being a teen and in the society. I mean, you're like I so, mean, like, you but like you know how to use shit. Instagram. Like, well, no shit. Twitter. And shit. I don't have Instagram. He doesn't have Instagram. I don't have TikTok. I don't have Twitter for balls. So what should Snapchat. what should people Snapchat. follow you on? Oh, get Twitter. On Snapchat. Y'all should follow me on Snapchat at b underscore k a t s i g n i a n n i s. I'm gonna have to type that out, right? <laughs> Shit. Also, uh, follow uh, Universal Athletes on YouTube. Uh, also, uh, hey, today talk maybe. Today talk, of course. Subscribe to today talk. Uh, Hit the like button, by the way, guys. <laughs> um, if you made it this far, yeah, if, you, if, if you've, you've made, made it this far, far, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> please <laughs> put the talkies away and get up and do something with your life. If you made it this far, don't ask me why I'm sitting here. I'm having a good time. You need to get up <laughs> and do some push ups or go somewhere, please. Dude, this is okay. They were taking hey, a quick wait. break. Five push ups right now. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Four, five, five. <laughs> Good. He's going for another hour. Good job. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, do do you never do like podcasts while you're doing some other shit? Oh, uh, like podcasts? Like, yeah, like, like when I'm working out, Always. I don't listen to music anymore. Cause, really? cause I, I I was used to listening to music, but when jo- uh, Joe Joe Rogan started on Spotify, oh yeah, like when he transitioned. And all the episodes were there. I started listening to podcasts. I sometimes listen. I had a phase where I just listened to podcasts all day. Dude, it's it's fun because you learn a lot being able to be doing another thing at the same time. So like it's if like I'm in cleaning the back, in the or like anything, home. I tell Alexa to play a podcast. Alexa. I feel like my brain's too fried to comprehend two things at the same time. <laughs> well, like you're working out and listening to like. Uh, I only listen to old hip hop. In country music, <laughs> I don't listen to country that much when I'm working out. Never, country's actually. not, yeah, not yeah, country when I'm working out. I listen to country when I'm hunting. Oh, let's uh, let's uh, tell a story oh, yeah. about a hunting. hunting. What's your favorite? Hunting? I've seen, I've seen, uh, I've seen your picture in your Instagram with the big ass fish that's right? fishing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the catfish that was the one time yes. I went fishing. I mean, I've been fishing with them, but but like, you're the them. one that is like really invested in all of that. He has a fuck ton of fucking shit. Is your dad also invested in all of that? Or no. Uh, it's just you? Did you just pick it up? So I started fishing when I was younger, probably elementary. Like How? Who who told like who brought you into the YouTube, fishing world? Right? So I have when I moved here, we had uncles that already lived here, right? Gotcha. And they had connections and they had this dude named Bill who lived in the apartments at our neighborhood. Mm-hmm. And he had a fishing rod. And I guess my dad made good friends with him. And this is a memory that I remember. I remember going to his apartment and grabbing this fishing rod. I don't know if I had that rod anymore. I think it's in Adrian's trunk. Uh, We used it. And I remember catching a bluegill off the dock at the neighborhood and holding it like this. And it peed on my shoulder. (laughs) I remember that. And that was like the only, the, the closest memory I have of me fishing. Like when I lived in Greece, you know, the economy is. Fishing, yeah. tourism, agriculture. That's it. Yeah. It's really Gre- nothing Greece else. is basically full of water, right? Yeah. Is, I don't know. Yeah, is it an island? I no, it's not an island, my guy. Uh, no, so... But there's, there's a lot parts of... of there, there, oh, yeah, some of Greece them are islands. islands. Yeah. A shit I know for a fact. Islands. Yes, a shit ton. But I don't know if Shout out to the... What's, 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 the, what's the city called? Shout out to Nafaktos. <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, what's your real name? It's Basilius... Basilios Katsiyanis. Dude, I heard that whenever they were doing the... Um, graduation? graduation? Yeah, I was recording He it. butchered that shit so bad. Dude, <laughs> Mr. Like, Morris. Yeah, poor him, bro. <laughs> and then I remember Alex was like, my fucking middle name. I hate that shit. Do you know Alex's middle name? Mm-hmm. Nice. Can you pronounce it? Obivich, right? 
bitch. Fuck you. Obidiovich. Okay. Obidiovich. Stop. It's Obidiovich. Don't listen to me. No. Bitch. Oh, I'm getting bullied today. Dude, but <laughs> hey, hey, take pride on that. That makes you unique and that makes you who you are. I mean, it's okay. Just English every fucking time, time, everyone's like, oh, oh, video bitch. <laughs> and I'm like, that's so funny. <laughs> but like, how would you talk back to Bill though? Like if Bill wanted to kill you, he could, you know what I mean? What do you mean kill me? Yeah, like with one hand. Yeah, he could probably yeah, kill Yeah, definitely. We just strayed away from what we started talking about. I know. And I uh, forgot what we were talking about. Uh, let's go back to West Point, all right? No, no, oh no, my no, no, no. gosh. No. What we, were th- we were talking about something. Funny stories. Funny stories of... of Wait, football. we were talking about hunting and fishing. Yeah, hunting and fishing, hunting and fishing, hunting and fishing. Yes. Sorry about my, that. I don't know why, but every time I think of hunting for you, I always think of that story of you whenever you uh, heard that... Um, was it? the uh, Not panther. The cougar? The cougar. There's a mountain what? lion. Mountain lion. I'm sorry, the mountain lion. So we have this Cougar, lease. You need a mountain lion. It's like it's a little thing. different. Yeah. We had this lease down in Sweeney, Texas, right? And uh, there's a mountain lion that roams around in the area. I don't know if he lives in the actual lease, but he's definitely been on the trail cams. I would say that thing is about this big. The big boy. Shit. Mountain lion. Uh, Definitely the top predator in that area. Yeah. 100%. There's a bunch of coyote packs, but I don't that think... That not going to fuck me. Look, I was sitting in the deer shed, or the, the deer uh, deer blind, and out of nowhere, I just hear the scariest screech. Can we, put that, can we pull that up real quick? You will ever hear... I'll hit the Joe Rogan. Hey, what's, what's that dude's name? Uh, uh, what's his Jay? name? Dude, <laughs> we need... You need That's that. That's the best boy. Normally, I have... Jeremy? Something. Oh, Jeff? Yeah, Juan? No, Jeremy, 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 can you pull up the video? (laughs) Dude, I need that screen here, bro. Yeah, bro. Honestly. Pull up I'll just play a sound. Because you know damn well on this This podcast. Imagine, you know how much Joe Rogan, uh, like, got to go with Spotify, right? I know he got a lot of money. It was like four, four hundred million, something like that. I'm pig hunting. What? I was pig hunting. Oh, Oh, nice. Pitch (laughs) black. Pig hunting. And you just hear this. Sad. Damn it. You hear that? (laughs) (laughs) Imagine. That's fucking scary. And you've never heard that in your life. And you're like, what the fuck is that? I heard this one. I don't know why he's not going cuckoo. 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 Didn't you say you were like walking back at night? You were like walking to the truck or something. Oh yeah, I was walking to the truck and there was like something in the bushes. But dude, okay, I don't know if you saw when you were coming pulling up, but there's like right in front, there's like an alligator and type uh shit. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if it's like a reserve or what the fuck. But it's a little pond right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not just the pond. Like I know it's like a little, ri- little. Yeah, creek a little. Like, yeah, yeah, a big it's ass. It's green. Yeah. yeah. Uh, have you ever seen it? Yeah, I walked up to it. It's it's amazing. But I've seen actual like big ass alligators. Like, you seen gators in there? Yes, multiple times. One time, my We're dad was go catch them. My I dad was just was, say, let's go. My dad was them. running, and he saw one. He took a picture, and then he came to the house, and he's like. Hey yo, there's a there's an alligator. Come on, come on. And so we actually went there and we uh, saw him. Uh, w- I was scared as fuck. I was like, I remember. That bitch could what's kill up? Hey, what's the one park? What's the one park called? Bra- uh, Brazos, 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 Brazos Bend. Brazos Brazos Bend. Bend. I think State I have park. the picture, but it's on my phone. If you go to Brazos Bend State Park, you can walk, and the trail will have gator sitting on the sides. I remember we were walking with my dog Barsic, is this tiny ass Pomeranian. <laughs> I swear to God, if my dog Dude, your was dog a dumbass. Is fucking amazing. Wait, he, you remember that one day that Barsic got lost? Like, he left the house and you found him, like, really far away? Oh, okay. I live uh, by Katie Mills Mall, so we can put that in the map. And this motherfucker, this horny, because he had balls at the time. <laughs> this horny fuck walked all the way to Cinco Ranch. Not on this side. Uh, across, was it? What's this road? I don't know. He went to the park, Cinco, the park. No. He went. Oh, like he found the, him. The... Yeah, some lady found him over there, walking over there. 
how? From your house, I don't, how? I don't understand that little how. Pomeranian. Dude, that little it's, shit. It's like a 10 minute hour drive. A 10 minute. Well, yeah, he was, he was 10 gone. Minute drive, yeah. He was gone for a couple days, though. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. He, he was probably, all the way over there. Father. No, he was just that was horny. A long time ago. That was, was in elementary. Yeah, that was in that was in fifth grade. I remember. Really? I remember because I was asking. Something? I was asking around. I was little. My little ass. Have you seen this dog? No. Wait. So what were you saying right before I interjected? The uh, you hunting. What's the biggest animal you've killed? Me? Yeah. 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 The pig. How, uh, how like a. Let's, let's give it a size. Like what? It was like three hundred twenty pounds. Shit, the pigs are just fat fucks. I have a picture, but is he like a wild pig? You know what I mean? Yeah, it was yeah. a wild. Bear. Yeah, we have a really big problem in Texas with uh, wild. They're pigs. pests. Yeah, no, they're pests. Where? Like, all around everywhere, Texas. All around everywhere. Texas. To be honest, I've never like, seen a wild pig. We went. We fucking went. Uh, yeah, literally camping. on Highway ninety. On Highway 99. On the side of the road, you were driving down the freeway. We saw two pigs. Saw so one on top of like a little hill, and then we drove past and went to go. Literally uh, five or ten minutes down, ten minutes uh, north ninety nine. Damn, big. They were kind of big too. How many? How many were? But there? that was private property, so. No, it wasn't. Was it right next to the highway? Oh, I thought it was private. And I was driving back from Jasper, Texas, when I was working with Ivan, mm-hmm. and there was about eight of them, right next to the highway. They're everywhere. You've never seen a wild pig. You know, people go and shoot them in helicopters. You're right. Yeah, <laughs> what? Yeah, they just fly over and bop, 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 bop. Dude, the, c- can you have an AR? Yeah, in Texas, in Texas? yeah. You can buy an AR at 18 years old. You get yeah. Any long is any is it any long rifle? It's any oh, rifle, yeah. any but rifle. you can't have like a M16, right, or some shit. Mm, I I don't elaborate. I wouldn't know the exact laws. I just know that at 18 you can buy a rifle. You just can't buy a handgun. How how is because that a handgun you can conceal it. About it, handguns are more dangerous. Yeah, they're they're also used more often in shootings. So all those people saying we want to ban AR-15s, most of any shooting, not even saying just school yeah, shootings, but like any disguised, shooting, it's more you know, disguised. Yeah. And even just like you can, there's still like a good amount of uh, ammunition in that thing, and you can also put an extended clip on there. No, but it should carry 17 bullets. The, yeah, and it doesn't take that long to. Really. Yeah, I, I mean, think I'm breathing into the mic. Possibly, <laughs> it's fine. You won't pick that up. Yeah, it will, but it's fine. <laughs> Anyways, I'm trying to find the picture. I'm sorry. No, yeah, most politicians when they say ban the AR-15, AR-15, they really hasn't. I mean, it's been used in shootings, but not as often as handguns. Yeah, and there are both semi. Ma- makes sense. Makes sense. I would still be afraid, you know, if a guy pulls up because it can be used like maybe on a store robbery type thing. More? I mean, yeah, but like, I, I guess action? when you're not, yeah. Shit, let me see. You were little too, right? Like, that was younger. two years ago, I think. That's a big. Yeah, we gotta movie. send all these pictures over here. We can put them on. Yeah. Um, big ass movie. No, but when you're not around guns and you don't know anything, of course, it's gonna look scary. Whether they're used or used to kill. That's a tusk, right? Well, yeah, tusk, right? The tusk. But like half that hoe goes inside its mouth. So it's like, I mean, yeah, don't try to lie. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still like a little. It's still. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your key? Oh, you didn't bring your keys. He has it. I did. Oh, he has it on his key. Anyway. No, that's a different pig. That's, a different that's pig. the one I snout mounted. Two days what, ago. Why are you so into hunting? That's a question. Because, first of all, as a kid, I hated being inside. I like fresh air. I like wildlife. And with hunting, um, it's more than just going out with a gun and taking an animal's life. You've got to tend to the land. You've got to feed the wildlife. And with hunting, there's like lots of regulations and rules. And in order to keep the population safe, and it's not like you just kill the animal and leave it to die. And you just leave it there. You harvest everything from it. If I wanted to, I could harvest every single thing off a deer. I could use its feet for hangers. Like, I could make, like, 
creative little coat hangers, but it's kind of weird. I could deer, make, deer I could make, a, <laughs> I could do a full body mount if I wanted to. If it's a trophy deer, there's a difference. I can go out and kill a doe because maybe there's too many does in the area. I can eat the doe and feed my family. Pigs are a whole other thing. Pigs a are pig, just pests. Just shoot it and leave it. Fuck the pig. They're just pests. It's like the same thing as a mosquito. Dang. They, they, they I mean, they tear up fucking agri- They tear like up your crops and, yeah. like horrible. So, so. Like, if I was a farmer, I would pay you to, like, hey, can you go kill all these pigs? Yeah, that are you can literally them. shoot. Aren't pigs, like, you can shoot them throughout the whole year, right? Yeah, you can shoot them whenever you want. You don't have to have a, li- a hunting license either. So, I could, if I have... I'm not, I'm it's like pig. shooting a rabbit. Yeah. Like, I'm 18. I can go kill any pigs. You can go seven. buy an AR and kill a pig. Yep. But I wouldn't do it. It's got to be on land that you know. Yeah. And... Yeah. Nice. Literally, it doesn't matter. Also, like, I mean, pigs are kind of dangerous. They're pretty aggressive, I would, right? They're pretty, yeah, yeah they're pretty fucking aggressive. If you had an AK-47, would you not kill a pig? I, mean, I don't think you can get AK-47 and hunt. No, yeah. I'm not, I, I don't really look into all that shit, but I'm like I was saying, there's more to it than just going and killing. Going and killing I mean, also, like, the patience in it, too. That's the one thing I, I would like to go yeah. hunting with you. Still, I haven't. I don't know why. Uh, I guess I've next sat time. one time and stared out of a blind for six hours without moving. You can't move. You can't talk. You gotta just sit there. I mean, that's I why I don't like fishing either. Because I have to but fucking fishing, wait. you can talk, right? Or yeah, you not? can. I mean, you can. Yeah. Like that's the cool part of fishing, right? Like you can. You can talk hang out with your friends, like, do stupid yeah, yeah. shit. Fishing is also fun because there's a reward if you actually know how to fish and you know how to like read weather, read the water. You know, like when is the best time to fish. And you're right about it, and you actually go, and you know what fish are in the lake because of your observations, and you actually catch that fish. It's rewarding, mm-hmm. and if you catch a big one, it's a personal best. Like it's a yeah. it, oh, I, my phone's fucking PB. dead. But what do you need? I was gonna show that catfish. Oh, the catfish that we caught. That was a big. How much that weighed? What thirty pounds? Yeah, right? it was probably thirty pounds. Thirty pound catfish. Damn. The, the, I don't the, go fishing. I, it's the one that I caught. The, it's fun. The picture sometimes. Your right. Yeah, on my Instagram. Yeah. That's it's, about 30 it's, pounds. It's huge. It's huge. He's holding it, That's right? the little one. We're both holding it. That's the little one. That was a little one, too. Didn't, you, didn't uh, Adrian say, or was it you who caught the, like, 60 pound? No, it was Adrian. Adrian. 60 oh, pound the catfish is the one in the Bass Pro Shop logo, right? And this is the yeah. picture of all the skulls that I've done. That's the, the 300 pound pig. And then I killed the coyote, and I did the tail. Nice. Okay, but anyways, let me find this catfish. Yeah, I don't oh, here know. it is. All right, this is Alex's. Yeah, yeah, I seen it. I seen it. Yeah. Six That's six. yours. How much that one weigh? Fucking huge. Thirty. That one? Yeah, that's a thirty pound fish. I thought how much am I weigh then? Yours was probably like a twenty five pound. Oh, never mind. Hey, that's not bad. Yeah, if you never go fish, yeah. If I never go fishing, it's a big catch of fucking catfish. Yeah, I was pretty proud of that day. Like, ma'am, look. (laughs) What did you do with that fish? Did you have it for dinner? No, we just put it back. Store it back. I've never eaten a fish that I caught. Why is it dangerous? Or no, it's not dangerous at all. You can eat whatever you want. We were gonna go eat uh, camping on fish. Yeah, um, but it was dude, so you know what pisses it was me off? A lot. People like in Galveston or some shit that are like, there's people swimming, mm-hmm. and they're like, they want to fish there. Like, I know what you mean, because because you know, like, it's dangerous, bro. Like, somebody can get fucking trapped. But like, the- also at the same time, if you look at it from a different perspective, like I understand your perspective. Do you go fishing? Do you fish no. at all? No. Like, I respect that. And I'm not saying that it's right to do that. I wouldn't do it myself, right? Yeah. But from my perspective, like, uh, this is what I'm looking for. Uh, a skilled and uh, fisherman who has expertise, like, and knows what he's doing, it's not it's not as dangerous as you think. Like, it's easy to just cast out and, and watch the people behind you on your sides. And if somebody does come across... It's really your line. I mean, you can see where the line is. Like, like it's you not. You know what I mean? It, it's different. It's like. But do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I was yeah. gonna make an example, but I couldn't think of one. Yeah. No, I understand what you're saying. Still. Yeah. I think it's. I like, wouldn't do it myself. Like, there's places for you to fish. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why, why do it there where there's people and accidents can happen? You know. So many dumb people. And it's world. like it's like the same thing as uh, 
uh, drivers who go to these car meets and like and drive fast on the highways. And they're like, they're like, okay, look, I'm driving fast, but you need to stay in your lane because I know what I'm doing. And if I know if I'm going to calculate this turn perfectly, and if you're driving the same way you were driving, nothing's going to happen. And people get scared. And That's people get scared, say. right? It's just like the same thing. I mean, again, I wouldn't do that. The but whole... We've done it. If we raced from Texas Roadhouse uh, to Highway 6. We're cutting this oh, out, cutting this out, cutting this, this out, no, cutting this out, cutting this out. Cut out. this part out. I don't think it wasn't legal. even a race. We were just driving it fast to drive fast. It, it isn't. I was, hitting, I was hitting 130 in my Mazda CX-9. It's a mom car, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we this, raced from Texas with this Roadhouse big to ass Highway 6, and there was like seven of us, seven cars. Seven cars deep. And we made it to the parking garage from Texas Roadhouse to Highway 6, and I think like eight minutes, not even, like five minutes. Oh, yeah. The dudes who were leaving we, the pack we, were on 145. Yeah. He did have a somebody almost crashed into me. Oh my god! Yeah, I was I, <laughs> I was driving. This is what happened. I think I told you the story. I'm not sure. Okay. I fucking I was driving and I was. I mean, I don't want to push my car to the limit because I fucking have a stupid ass check engine light, <laughs> and I had a check engine light at the time. But I was kind of driving fast too, and this man was in front of me, and I was like going, you know, cutting through traffic and everything. And there's this 18 wheeler and this dude in a what? Was it a Honda? I think it was a Honda. I don't remember. It was a Honda Accord. It was a Honda Accord. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. I don't, was it he? He didn't see the 18 wheeler or he didn't see you? He didn't see me. He didn't see him. And he like merged or tried to merge into your lane, right? Yes. And then he saw him finally and then swerved and almost smashed into the fucking 18 wheeler. So like how it was laid out was there was the 18 wheeler like in one lane, right? Yeah. I'm put them stick. <laughs> okay, so there was an 18 wheeler here. He's coming up right next to the 18 wheeler. Okay. Yeah. There's two cars here like this, okay. and I'm in this lane. Okay. I wanted to come across, cut across here and go because there was a car coming that was reaching up, and we were uh-huh. going like 110 right now, right? And I wanted to come in between these two cars and go through in front of the 18 wheeler. So we're both coming like this, and he comes in the same lane that I was about to go into, and I see him, but I didn't think he was gonna do that. And he goes like this, oh shit, swerves, and literally almost smacks the eighteen wheeler. I saw and the car go, like, kill himself, but the car like it would have definitely gone under. Like, yeah, it would probably would have gone under the fucking eighteen wheeler. And, and I was behind all of that. Yeah, you're alive. Drove off. You're and alive. And thanks to fucking. <laughs> I what I remember because I went around the other way. I went around the other way because I saw him as soon as I saw him go like this. I was like, "Oh shit!" And so I turned my car and I went the other way around the ATM. And then he magically made it to the parking garage. Yeah, he was like, "Hey guys!" And then he was—I don't know what he was on. He was definitely on some drugs. Or his brain was like. Or he was just super fried. His brain was so his brain was so fucked up. Like bad, bad. I've never seen anybody like that. Do Do you remember the time that we like we were hanging out and we saw Bill? In his truck. Do you remember? In his truck. No, you mean in his mom car? <laughs> <laughs> when? We saw him. Uh, when did we do see you remember? Him? We were eating like Peppa Jones or something? Was it not that day? No. I don't think I ever saw y'all together. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were. You did. I don't think I did. Dude, do you not remember the time that like we literally saw Bill and we started racing? <gasps> oh, 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 wait, remember? wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. We were, um, where were we going? We were editing. We were editing for a little bird. Oh, we were editing for little bird, and then yes. I think oh, we were going to my house, when and you we were raced, going to your yeah. house. Yeah, and then we like drove. I guess yeah, we we, like we saw bit. you like you were like like next lane like right at like this was us. back in yeah. December, correct? Oh hell no, I don't remember shit. Uh, oh yeah, no, he's not like gonna remember February. anything. February? Oh. Yeah. I don't remember anything back then. I was going through phases. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. That's pretty much all I have. We broke two hours. Actually, we broke three hours. Three, but one this of the guys. be the longest podcast ever. Yeah, that I've done. All the other ones are like 34 minutes. Too, yeah. Time. Okay. Right. I gotta go to my house and eat. Yeah. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, do you want to say anything else? Uh, so, I want to just give a motivational speech to anybody who's actually made it this damn far. Um, Appreciate you for watching. Uh, go out and do something. Like, just in general, do something. Experience life. And I'm not coming for you. Just do something with your life in a positive way. 
influence people's lives. Put a smile on people's faces. Uh, there's no need to be mean to anybody because you only live Positivity, once. Bro. Positivity. Right? Yeah. Uh, it's really all I got. Just make change in the world in a positive way because fuck negativity. Smoke a blunt sometimes. Yes, sir. Nice. All right. Thank you guys for coming today. I appreciate you. Yes, sir. And that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.